Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're gonna build an Apex web application on an autonomous database in 10 minutes. If you haven't heard about autonomous database, oracle.com has a good explanation on how they use machine learning to automate the database tuning, backups, security, and other routine management tasks usually done by DBAs. Without further ado, let's get started. I am inside the Oracle Cloud account and I'm gonna start creating the autonomous database. Let's name it Web App DB. I'm gonna leave default values here as is and the password. Let's go ahead and create the autonomous database. This already includes creating the admin user that will be used later for accessing the administration services. And now it says provisioning. And while that one is in progress, here is the site that explains the always free cloud services offered by Oracle. I mean, come on, who doesn't want free services? Unless Oracle updates its policies, currently I have access to Oracle Application Express. And this Oracle Apex empowers three developer persona from no code to low code to programmatic. You will see later in the application that I am creating that without coding, this platform can actually generate reports, charts, and forms for us fairly quick. And by adding few lines of codes, we can already extend the functionality to better support the requirement. With this and the fact that it is running on autonomous database, it gives us time to focus on application development and productivity and not get bogged down by maintenance activities. Adding all that, these free services are worth a try, I would say. Again, there is no time constraint, but it is subject only to the capacity limits stated when provisioning. And like any other services, applications in App Store, for example, it requires us to input payment method, but it will never charge us unless you upgrade to the paid version. All right, and let's actually go back to what we were provisioning. There it is, it's available. Let's go ahead and open Apex for us to get started in creating the workspace. It will require for a password to be inputted. Let's do this. Create the workspace where we will be creating our applications on. It will need a database user, a password, and a workspace name. Create workspace. Now we have created the workspace, let's log out from this administration services and log into the workspace that we've just created. Oracle Apex is a web-based rapid web development tool which enables us to create compelling applications with zero or minor coding. In fact, one of its features is creating an application based from a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I've created a spreadsheet with different kinds of foods. First, let's double check that there's nothing in the database. No table. Let's give the table a name recipe. And here is what I was talking about, list of foods with some calories in grams. This process will create the table in columns and will load the spreadsheet rows as records in the table. There, 18 rows created. Let's validate that the table has been created. There you go. Let's go ahead and create the application still based from the spreadsheet. So it's creating some default pages for us. And guess what? Our application is ready. It has created a default login page for us. And without coding, it provided us with the dashboard with some bar chart of calories something, a recipe search, and a recipe report. To make this more interesting, I'm adding a column to hold the actual images of the food. First, let's update the last update date column to a date, as we will be needing this later. 
finish that up. And let's go ahead and add the image column, which will be a blob. Let's navigate to the page designer to edit the application form that was created for us. Let's add a page item and let's name it P5 image. It's gonna be a file browse. And since this will be used for uploading an image, there are some additional settings here that we need to set up. If you've noticed, this mime type, file name, last update date are columns that were actually included in the spreadsheet. For the source, we will let it point to the image column. Making sure we have not missed a thing. Save. Okay. Some of these fields we actually don't need to show on the page. So let's set it to hidden. Save again. Again, this is the application form for uploading the image. Let's go ahead and edit the report itself. Let's change the source type of the report to be an SQL query. Let's open the query editor to add the image column. And since it's a blob field, it needs some extra coding. So I'm just copy pasting this syntax from the Oracle documentation for accuracy. We need to change this part to reference the P5 image field that I've created earlier. And I want my images to be of the same sizes. So I'm adding in here some CSS code for the height and the width. And let's put an alias here image. Validate that. Successful. Okay. The next step here is very, very important. If we miss this, our image will not display properly. I'm talking about the escape special characters. Let's disable that so that our CSS code will render appropriately. There it is. It is appearing like a broken image since we haven't uploaded anything yet. Let's go ahead and choose an image, courtesy of a friend who happens to own these pictures and was a great cook. Under the description, we can type in anything like cooking instructions or the ingredients and so on. There it is. Really mouth-watering, isn't it? Let's go ahead and upload some more. Don't quote me on the amount of galleries here, please. <laughs> Those are dummy values that were added just so we can have a bar chart. Okay, apply changes gonna have some more oh la la i don't have a picture of a boiled egg here i mean come on <laughs> who doesn't know how a boiled egg look like let's skip that seriously let's go for a chicken curry last one okay looks good so now we have a gallery of yummy recipes and from the search page, we can easily filter by the amount of calories. Great! That's it. Thank you. Hope you liked it. If you have questions, just comment down below. And I know a person who's a great architect, so when it gets complicated, who knows? We can be of help. If this was something interesting, give it a thumbs up.